Halloween is one of the weirdest times to be alive. Now, just to get this straight and clarify with you, I am late. It is technically not Halloween anymore. It is the 1st of November. However, I'm still going to make this video, beard. Now, I was trolling on Twitter, you know, sending some hate messages to the uh, LGBTQ, to anyone that is not a white, male, heterosexual human being, because what? fuck the rest now that obviously is a joke but that's all you seem to see twitter anymore just a lot of hate just left and right bashing each other's brains in but the other day i saw this left person just tweeting about uh i think it was nature and this that and the other but they were associated with leaning group you know like lgbt i don't know what it was and there was genuinely the amount of hate this poor lady got taking a picture of her dog all it said in the description is i'm gonna murder your dog i'm gonna kill your dog and kidnap your dog cook it and eat it and i was like holy shit you might have seen it on Twitter, I'm no idea who it was by. But it was just crazy. It was honestly nuts. The world is falling apart. God damn, Christmas is round the corner. Do you think we'll make it? I want to hear what your opinion is. How are you guys doing in this already chaotic, crazy world? I want you to go into the description, type out a comment, tell me how your day's been. Good, bad, ugly. I want to hear it, man. We can vent, we can help each other. We're looking at some of the best um some of the best costumes um avert your eyes my sweet uh, uh sorry some of the best celebrity costumes now let's go kiki palmer i don't know who she is franken wiener she even got the kid out of her bloody nursery home to go for a role that's kind right right i need a cute picture after this you're all fucking to bed oh that's sick to be fair bro edward scissorhand have you seen film that thick film no i've not actually seen the film but it's that decent film yeah no, she just looks horrible i can't lie that's that's a really scary who is so Sweetie, sweetie, I wanna know your name. Is it sweetie? Yeah, uh, sweetie. Ooh, uh, uh, everybody, sweetie. No idea who she is. Still, lovely pair of bosoms, though. Nice breasts. Anyway, glow the official, the kids. See, that's just lame. That's like, we couldn't be asked, but we'll give it a go, you know? If she's just got a cheap top that her grandma's had from the 60s, cut off the bottom. Is that what she's gonna look like? That's lame, lame. Zero, zero marks, zero marks. Kiki Palmer. I swear we just saw Kiki Palmer. Maybe I'm smoking crack. What's new? Kiki Palmer. She Kiki Palmer. Ah, see, that's dog shit. That's just a poor outfit. You need to be cray cray, and that is fucking lay lay. <laughs> Paris Hilton as Britney Spears in Toxic. <laughs> what the hell is going on? That is the worst outfit I have ever seen in my life. Look at this. This is terrible. Uh, to be fair though, she does actually look better than Britney fucking Spears. The outfit, you know what I mean? Uh, she's got seems to have a bit of a um, what do you call it? A uh, parrot's beak. I mean, that's horrible. Why do I say that? Moving on, Adele as Mortica Adams, all from the Adams family. Again, I mean, I think it doesn't look too bad on Adele. Adele. However, I think it's very lazy and very lame, bro. You just dye your hair black, get a makeup artist, do your black lips and black eyes or whatever. 2.5 out of 10. Willy Wonka. That's quite cool. I like I like Willy Wonka. I do like Willy Wonka a lot. Oh my god, look at his specs. Christ alive. I do like that one. Mortal Kombat carries. Car Mortal Kombat characters. Oh That's quite cool to be fair. I like it. I like that one. Looks real cool, but it looks like a mom. The hell was that? Oh damn, sister, you got the Wolverine claws. I know it must be great to like have rich parents and stuff like that, you know, and never have to work in your life and go on. You know, live there, for example, and get nice TikToks done. But I'm sure as shit grateful I don't have to film stuff like this. I mean, I would just be so embarrassed by the time my brain actually came and realised what I'd done. All these embarrassing TikToks. You know what I mean? All these embarrassing TikToks you've got to make and touch the camera, disappear. And by the time it reappears, you got you got fucking pulse, cross your arms and pose like a superhero. I know, boo-hoo, boo-hoo. Tayan Taylor, Marlon Wayans in Don't Be a Menace to South Central While Drinking Your Juice in the Hood, motherfucker. Fucker. I'm from the hood. That's quite cool. I'd like that. You know, innovative. Hairs a bit whack whack. All right. <laughs> That is why, that is why they're here. I have not seen that film. Kendall and Kylie as Sugar Spice. I don't want to say Halloween. Oh, they look horrifying in that. I don't want to say that Halloween is just for getting your breasts out and your bum out and your other privates out. But my God, all people do is get the butt and breasts out on Halloween. Ooh, that's spooky. That's quite scary. Look at that. That, that, that. That's the good one, that. I like that. I mean, Megan the Stallion, the person who gets her privates out the most has gone like, she's dressed, she looks more like an air hostess. She looks like someone 
who's greeting you on the plane. Olivia O'Brien, Jessica Rabbit. You know, what's Jessica Rabbit about that, mate? Nothing is Jessica Rabbit about that. That is not Jessica Rabbit. That is just a red dress that is too short. Hayley Berry is Whitney Hughes. Really? No, she's just wearing a tag top. Meg Gremlins, Megan the Stallion. That's quite good. I like that. <laughs> Imagine um, Megan the Stallion, the fucking Gremlin. Haley Bieber's Mean Girls. Imagine, and then you get a poster as the Mean. Oh god, so lame, so lame, bro. Oh, Ed Sheeran as Chucky. That's quite cool. Demi Lovato as Snow White. The best outfit. I am giving the award to this woman right here. See if you recognize her, what she spotted on the plane. This is the outfit of the season. This is just fantastic. I know I was complaining that there's no effort or thought gone into the other ones, but this truly is the best 2023 Halloween outfit of the year, ladies and gentlemen. I just want to say thank you for tuning in to Halloween Awards. It's been a pleasure hosting them. This wasn't what the video was going to be like. I was going to actually go into some of the costumes, look at some good spicy me memes, but I think we've done a good enough job here, you know? We've crowned the winner. We've found our winner. She has won. High fives all round. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. I'm off for a gonna have a bloody ring a dinger. I think she's done marvelously. Well done, this woman. It doesn't say who, what, where, why, how, but if you've not worked out who she is, it's this bitch right here. It is this bitch right here, friend. Look at the woman I show you. This is her. Please, Corva. Corva. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going on about anymore. I've truly lost the hillbillies and the will dillies to actually put on a shield dilly, so. Bad news, guys. Turns out Tucker Carlson was talking about an entirely different green m and That is the worst outfit in the world. Goodbye. Look at this bitch. Hey, how are you doing that? It's glued yeah. to your face. It, yeah, but, you know, I can still fully move everything. Heidi, you are the queen of Halloween. Dude, she's got a beak glued to a damn fucking face. What the fuck is the Look, I don't know why. I still think this lady won. This lady's the winner. Well done, this woman. 10 out of 10. High fives all round. You're clue, clearly the queen and the winner of the chicken dinner. I will send you your chicken dinner in the post. Chips included. Side, please send me your choice of fries. Please send me your choice of sides. We do peas, sweet corn, and coleslaw. Mm. Sounds tasty. You guys let me know what you want to eat in the description. You probably had a terrible outfit. Do you want to know what I dressed up as? I dressed up as a local prostitute and went around at the night pretending I was playing GTA and getting run over all night. No, I didn't. I actually didn't dress up. I just went and hang out with my mates. I played Minecraft. Oh god, it's so tragic. It's so embarrassing. I'm such a little weeb dweeb full of fucking heroweeb. Anyway, I'm just I can't stop talking. It's like boltery, like garbage I'm spewing out, but thank you so much. Goodbye.